perspective of the president on Monday, and I know that's what you believe. Here's the tweet. Some people hate the fact that I got along well with President Putin of Russia. They would rather go to war than see this. It's called Trump derangement syndrome. I think you as a doctor diagnosed that, did you? <laughs> well, you know, I think the best way to look at this, and I've told people, is that, you know, Reagan called out the Soviet empire for being the evil empire, tear down the wall, he had very aggressive rhetoric, but then Reagan did sound, sit down with Gorbachev, and I'm guessing in their personal meetings he didn't call him an evil tyrant, uh, he didn't storm around and shake his fist. They had rapport in order to get to four major strategic arms reductions where we reduced nuclear weapons, <laughs> reduced the threat of nuclear war. So um, I think that uh, Trump responded at times with, uh, you know, bold rhetoric against some of these foreign leaders, against North Korea, but then being willing to sit down with them really is in the mold of what Reagan did. And I think but so most of these much people of this, are just deranged yes, with Trump, this, this, and this, I think that's why they're crazy. So much of this issue comes back to him and how he's trying to sell it, though. Uh, I know what he's thinking. No, he's Hammer. Thinking, no, Hammer, you idiot. The medium is not the message. It's not how you sell it. It's results, you stupid ass. See, this is the problem with these media whores. They make their living bullshitting and producing almost nothing but hot air and selling popcorn time for commercials. Rand Paul is making cogent points logically and precisely, and this idiot keeps interrupting him. It's the affliction of all these guys. And as far as Brennan is concerned, he should be in jail this morning for nothing less than treason. Former CIA director pontificating about this president's foreign policy. You're a cop, you fat Irish moron, Mr. Potato Head. You're not the president. You're a civil servant street cleaner. You take out the garbage. You're a necessary evil on society, a blight, one step above the criminals you arrest. Okay? You Neanderthal-looking pug. Boy, Mr. Brennan, if you can hear me, I'd love to meet you, Mr. Potato Head. I'd go through you like shit through a goose, you Irish loser.